Slowly not funny, but it's starting to love it profession apparently you know what we're just going to film this as if you're at a gallery I'm in my sweatpants <laughs> and sweatshirt and a hoodie but we're in a very fancy gallery and I'm going to explain to you because you're all standing there in ooh and ah about 
what I painted. So welcome to my gallery. <laughs> yeah, as I just play my art and kind of walk you through. So this is an acrylic medium with a pseudo Tiffany style bloom technique where I just, you know, use my thin acrylic paints mixed with pouring medium and I blow them out. What I find for me, and it, again, as I've mentioned, I think in the, the creation video, which I'll link here of how I made the bloom head, we call her, <laughs> yeah, I was looking for trendy names in blue. <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes and ocean was one but then some people were adding the e on the end so then you pronounce it oceany ah it's kind of pretty right i mean if i had a child i probably wouldn't need them oceany they'd just be making fun of and you know kicked around on a playground but for painting that's probably okay right i love the shimmer um i'm going to show you a real quick video of her shimmer because because you seriously need to see this from like various angles like look at that like, oh my God, how cool. And like, look at her lips. Like her lips are like beyond kissable. And I really loved how like the black detail kind of outlining from the cell activator. I just, oh my God. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. And of course, as you all know, I do not use a bloom recipe. My paint is very liquidy. It's not very thick. Like I, seriously, when I see people do blooms, I almost have a heart attack with how thick their paint is. That thickness of paint, plus going into like a Home Depot equivalent here in the Netherlands when I don't speak Dutch and try to explain to the guy behind the paint counter that I want some untinted base. So I can't imagine trying to explain that in a language I don't really speak, shame on me. House paint in like a satin enamel here, I, I don't know. And you'll notice in this one I did it slightly different. I um, didn't use my skewer this time uh, to go in and kind of modify the bloom and create the little petals. I just wanted to see what it would look like if you still got the, the bloomish effect uh, or look of a, f of a flower bouquet on her head without me actually uh, forming them and making a little bit more abstract. I think it's kind of cool. I, I think she's very pretty. My husband loves her lips. I love her lips. I, 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 I would kiss those lips, maybe. <laughs> Well, not really, but if, it could very well be a function of the fact that I use very thin paints. So for me, when I put down that black cell activator puddle, I like blow across. And when I blow across, I get that nice little cell lacy effect or whatever you guys call that in, in the fluid art world. I don't really know. I'm just pretending like I know what I'm talking about. I really don't. I wouldn't probably say that at a gallery opening. If you're coming to look at my work, I don't know what I'm doing. Please buy my art. Um, but anyway, I really love making these. I, I think I found kind of what excites me as far as painting is concerned. It's always a surprise <laughs> when I blow out the little blooms. Um, I tried in this one to kind of create a variation in color. You'll see like this one's got a little bit more black, then it's a little bit more not so black. <laughs> My technical words for art those are very good. Here it's lighter but more black i'm not quite sure actually they all got the little black spots in the middle but um maybe it was some of the paints in the layers down below some of them were thinner and thicker and then depending on where they were put in there kind of determined whether i would lose the black and more black i i really i, I really don't know i wasn't quite sure as usual like you know what to do for a dress uh because there wasn't much, but then if there was nothing there, it looked kind of funky, like she looked very naked and exposed, and I didn't really like that feeling, because I would not want to, at my age, <laughs> I should never be naked and exposed. I don't even want to wear like a tank top these days, yeah. Mm. Anyway, I, I could go on forever about my body issues, but we're not gonna do that today. Uh, if you like my content, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. It really helps my channel and helps me get discovered so that people who might like this, even if you don't, <laughs> might want to watch what I do. And right now I'm going to show you a little bit of close-ups on the dry result in situ. I don't know. Anyway, see you in the next video. My name is Tiffany Romine. Thanks for being here. I'll be stuck in my head. Think I need to escape. Feels like I'm waiting there for the same